I hope you're doing good. I just want to say that I love you so much and don't ask why I don't have my mallet again. You already know the story. There we go. Hey girl. Hello my beautiful Pisces. How are you doing? My name is Simply Velka and today I'm going to be doing your weekly general tarot reading Pisces. So if you find any tarot cards that resonate with you in this reading Pisces, be sure to let me know in the comments below which ones do and how they do because that's how I keep up with y'all through the comments, right Pisces? As well, I would like to ask Pisces for you to, if you do find some tarot cards that resonate with you in this reading, to take the extra step to give this video a like and subscribe as well, Pisces, because it does help out my tarot channel a lot. And anyways, I'm super appreciative of it, Pisces, when you take the extra step to do that to support my tarot channel in that way. And before we get into your weekly general tarot reading Pisces. I just want to say that I don't feel like any reading uh, should be making decisions in your life. This weekly reading for you Pisces is just here to give you some food for thought, a perspective for you to consider Pisces, but never making a decision in your life because it's your life to live, not mine, not these tarot cards, not any tarot reader that you receive a reading from uh, Pisces. So with all that being said, give me one moment as I pull these final cards for you Pisces. With all that being said, Pisces, do we want a fourth? We do want a fourth for you, I'm hearing. Uh, let's just get into your weekly general tarot reading for this week now, Pisces. So today for you guys, I just want to say, Pisces, that I love you guys so much. Um, you guys, Pisces, whenever I was doing like my pre-shuffle for you guys, you guys had like the most uplifting energy, Pisces, uh, for me this week out of all the zodiac signs. So I don't know what's going on for you guys right now, Pisces, but uh, it just made me, <laughs> I don't know, maybe that's just like a good sign for you guys. Maybe it's like a good omen, uh, Pisces for this week for you guys or maybe you guys are just going through some type of healing that has really um shifted something in y'all that's made you feel lighter but um yeah i just wanted to say that so let's get into your animal oracle card uh pisces before we get into your actual tarot cards for this week uh we have the falcon card coming in here and this card says act on the opportunity the app Honey, I, fa I apparently feel good, but I can't speak still, darling. Uh, the Falcon card says, Pisces, act on the opportunity that's before you and commit to it without equivocation. Ooh, I think I pronounced it right for the first time. <laughs> so, Pisces, with this card, this is definitely a card of... Mm, I kind of feel like this card was presented to you, Pisces, as a sense of... um trying to get you out of like this um paralysis by over analysis kind of behavior that i kind of feel like you've been going through pisces so let's get some uh tarot cards on that actually let's get some clarification see what is up with that you know what is um, the cards already came out see what it is that you should be taking action on what um what's going on here pisces so we have the seven of wands coming in for you we have the Strength card coming in for you as well. And then we have the Knight of Cups coming in for you, Pisces. So for these three cards coming in as your clarifier for the Falcon card, Pisces, this is letting me know for you that uh, something that you need to take action on. Look at this week, Pisces. Now, it may not be this week in specific, Pisces, but things are ramping up an opportunity is ramping up things some type of door is starting to open up for you pisces now this door can is starting to open up for you but there's a lot of work that's entailed with it so let's just use an example for this so this makes a little bit more sense uh let's just say like a job opening has opened up or yeah a job offer has opened up to you but you know in order in the pay is wonderful right the opportunity is gorgeous but you would have to move pisces not only would you have to move but you would have to readjust your schedule and a lot of things are involved in it for you to take up at this opportunity it's still a good thing but if you actually want this job opportunity you you, you a lot of things would have to shift a lot of things would have to move around in your life to uh make it work pisces so with this though this is why uh spirit brought this falcon card forward to you pisces because it's like 
yeah, you may, like, you acknowledge it too, like, you see it. It's just like, you know it's going to take a lot of work. You know it's going to take a lot of strength um, from you, Pisces, to, if you actually want this job. And so they brought, Spirit brought forth the Falcon card being like, hey, grab up at this opportunity, right? This is not something that comes in quite often. And yeah, there's a lot of work involved, but that's what would make, arguably, arguably, that's what makes this opportunity so worth it, right? Don't shy away from being inconvenienced is something I just want to say, Pisces, because I feel like being inconvenienced is the best up blessing that you can give yourself. So now let's actually get into your objective cards for this week. Now the objective cards, Pisces, are your cards of the energy that you're going to be feeling and exuding this week as you go throughout your everyday life, throughout the everyday actions and uh, events that happened to you during this week. And so for you guys, you guys got the Dawn of Rings as well as the Six of Cups. So for this dynamic, Pisces, this is definitely a situation of reflecting on something. You're, you're, this week is definitely a state of where you're going to be very self-reflective. This is a week of where you're going to think about, um, you know, maybe past actions, how you held yourself back in the past before Pisces. This could be a sense of where it's just like you look at like, I can't help but feel like Pisces, you're kind of just, um, dare I say, just looking at how you handled things in the past, your past actions and just things that what you used to do and just being able to like evaluate it and be like reflecting on it and be like, okay, like this is where it is. I can improve on this X, Y, and Z, right? And, you know, just in the state of self-improvement, right? You're changing things up, you know, you used to maybe, let's just say you used to be play an extremely passive role when it came to your life. Now I see you taking, being more hands-on with it, being more involved, being into finally getting into the driver's seat of your own life, essentially, Pisces. So now let's get into uh, this these other cards now. <clears throat> Excuse me, Pisces. Uh, so let's get into this. We have your Ten of Swords. Let's get some clarification on your Ten of Swords, actually, Pisces. Um, actually, hold up. No, actually, I feel like this... <laughs> brain's going crazy, Pisces. Um, I was going to pull clarifiers for this, but... And I still... I, I technically am for pulling these two cards. But I feel like your Ten of Swords is part of the clarification. Because this is the extra card that came out, your fourth card. So I feel like this is kind of like the, um... Branching off of that. And I'm going to be pulling clarifiers for this, so... All this is still connected, Pisces. All I want to say this is one of those things that just came to me, though, was like that whenever you're doing intuitive readings, right, you never have anything too set in plan. Uh, so let's, yeah, as I was saying, Pisces, let's get some clarification on this Ten of Swords. Let's see what's up with that. Uh, what deck do we want? Uh, we're going to use this deck still. All right, what's going on with my... Pisces, what are you guys healing from? What are you guys reflecting on from your past? All right, let's see. All right, Pisces. So, four cards for you guys, all right? So, your cards, your clarification cards. You guys have your, for your Ten of Swords, Six of Cups, and Dawn of Rings, Pisces. So, you guys have, starting this out, we have the Nine of Pentacles. We have the world card coming for you, Pisces. And then we have the lover's card. Is this the lover's card? The lover's card, yeah. <laughs> Pisces coming for you. And by the way, whenever I show these cards, with inverted or not, when I, you're an, I'm an intuitive reader, so I'm not going to fill you guys up with unnecessary details when I'm just relaying the messages themselves. So bear no meaning to them being inverted or not. Um, and then we also have the King of Swords. So Pisces, in this dynamic, you guys are, with this Ten of Swords, the things that you guys are reflecting on, the things that you are healing and overcoming from, finally, it seems to be you guys are ending on a phase, ending some type of cycle, rather, rather than a phase. It's not just a phase, mom. <laughs> That's what I meant, it's a cycle uh, for you, Pisces. 
um, a say cycle because of the world card coming in here. The world card is coming in, coming in where you're breaking some type of cycle. You're coming into a completion of some type of lesson uh, happening in your life right now, Pisces. And I feel like um, it's all attached to like what was had you. Can't help but feel like Pisces that you. <laughs> I hope you guys don't take this as insulting, but it's just because I don't mean it in an insulting way at all, obviously. But, um, but it just feels like you guys used to be a little bit more passive in some way. Um, you guys weren't one that would be initially the one to take action on certain things. And I see you finally making the big decisions. I, feel, I see you finally taking the big actions, the big steps towards things, Pisces, that um you used to just refrain yourself from because of those past pains that we're talking about with the ten of swords and then the six of cups here these two cards right here this is like past emotional pain or not just emotional but past really just a lot of pain from your past a lot of trauma a traumatic past and something that really has hit deep for you and it's because of that that's kind of like Kind of is because of the, the, the these issues, Pisces, that stopped you from getting your bag essentially, right? With the Ace of Pentacles, and then Nine of Pentacles comes in with the King of Swords, uh, emphasizing that message because it's like you no longer were able to be as self-sustaining. Uh, you know, your mental state, or you weren't as um, refined or like in control of your mental state because of something from your past so let's just say for example pisces um you guys uh from your past used to uh the last time you like got out of your comfort zone and you uh did something that you normally wouldn't do like <sighs> skydiving is, is an example that came to mind um like you did skydiving and you uh, something happened with skydiving that ended up being really scary for you and you just ever since then it scarred you from ever doing skydiving or entertaining the idea of doing skydiving and so ever since then you just never you're just like see this is why i don't go out of my comfort zone because stuff like this happens right i see you coming out of that right i see you like healing from that those issues from the skydiving and that just like opens up in you taking more action in your life now so continuing on with this message um the magician card this is you taking action this is you pisces pisces you the magician is a card or is the archetype is the individual of someone who is um acknowledges like they're the master of their own reality they are the individual pisces that knows if they want something in their life they have to be the one to go after it to take control of it uh, so let's get some clarification on this magician card let's see what's up with this and the cards already come flying out for you pisces so the clarification that we have for your magician card pisces is we have the eight of pentacles coming in for you we have the Ace of Pentacles following you in this reading. And then we have the Tower card. So I like this message because it's quite literally the same message, but in different in a different format <laughs> almost from before. So we talked about how like this pain, Ten of Swords, right? From this past pain that kept you, you know, I was saying, it's like this pain, this trauma has kept you from your back, right? From your Dawn of Rings, your Ace of Pentacles. Um, that's what Dawn of Rings is in that deck, is the Ace of Pentacles. And so for this being your clarifier for your Magician card, you had the Ace of Pentacles, right? So it's almost like you've learned with the Eight of Pentacles um, what it is that you needed to shift. You're just kind of like learning from like your mistakes. If you would even want to consider them mistakes, Pisces, I wouldn't consider them mistakes, but you know what I mean by this. Learn from the stuff that you could use a lot more refining, right? You're refining yourself more. And with the Tower card, it's through you learning about things that you needed to do to refine yourself on or to improve, you realize that you needed to wipe the slate clean. You needed to bring an end to um, certain thought processes, certain patterns, certain actions that you were taking before in your life, right? That was keeping you from your bag, right? From your Ace of Pentacles. Uh, so this is definitely like your, like, I feel like you're finally just, as I was saying, like, 
getting into the driver's seat of your life now, Pisces, rather than just allowing someone else to drive for you. You're just like, nah, I got this. I don't need your help um, here. So I really do enjoy this Pisces a lot. So now with this, right, things are just coming into balance for you, Pisces. That's really like the overall message, the overall theme for this, uh, for you, Pisces, with the Justice card. Um, something I also want to point out is a lot of major arcana is following you, Pisces, which just signifies more so um, big life changes. So things coming into balance for you, Pisces. Let's get some clarification on this. Let's see what's up with this, right? Let's see if we can get any more insight, Pisces. All right, we got your three clarifiers. And so the three clarifiers that we have for your Justice card, Pisces, is the Chariot card. <laughs> Talk about Major Arcana, honey. We continue on with that theme. And the Sun card, come on now, as well as the Queen of Swords. So, Pisces, stuff that's coming into balance for you, you are learning how to be more... Like, with the Queen of Swords, this is, like, very good boundaries, right? Uh, good boundaries, but I feel like this Queen of Swords is more so just, like, having a more... Or not more, but having, like, a better view of yourself, Pisces. I feel like before, like, you weren't willing to necessarily own your power or be able to just, like, be like... How would I put it? You wouldn't be the one to like expect a credit being given to you right and so now you're just like no like you're willing to acknowledge like your strong suits mm -hmm. is what i'm trying to say i guess pisces and so the more that you lean into um <sighs> pisces what am i trying to say the more that you lean into being able to just give yourself more credit, the more credit that you give yourself, Pisces, that's when the forward movement happens. And with that forward movement, you start charging right towards the sun, right? Towards like the sun being the best part in the deck, right? You, you just tor chase towards your happiness. Um, you chase towards your, essentially, your bag, Pisces, right? Ace of Pentacles. Um, I see this really necessarily... Uh, for a lot of people, Pisces, a lot of people would be afraid to take action on things um, because they're so worried about what would happen, the what is, right? But with you, Pisces, you get the benefit in kind of being told by spirit that, like, nothing really, like, you can't really, I don't want to say nothing bad, like, you can't really go wrong, I guess I'll say, with you taking action so it just seems to be like through you taking action pisces as the falcon acting up at opportunities right you can take comfort in the fact of like the opportunities that you act on it's going to work out in your favor uh with these cards pisces you can there i mean there's no skep like there's no other way to really read these cards right um it's just like quite literally the meaning of these cards and i feel like yeah, it's just like that's what is needed to essential for you to bring things back into balance is just action. It's something that seems to be this main message for you, Pisces. So now let's pull some cards for your Fool card, right? Let's see what's going on here. The Fool card is just more so, again, of that carefree energy of just no longer being so stiff, right? You're no longer rigid in your thoughts or your ways. Um, you're just more flexible, more trusting, and yeah and fool is just a very beautiful energy for us to just have as your closing energy closing thoughts two cards there extra okay so the clarification that we have for your fool pisces is the hermit card more is your may, more major arcana honey we have the eight or seven of pentacles coming in here. No, Eight of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles following you as well. We have the Star card as well as the Star and the Sun. That's pretty powerful, actually. And then we have the Five of Wands. So, breaking this down, Pisces, this is definitely a... Pisces, I just see... It seems like with any type of conflict or any type of stress that you're experiencing with your life, it's just putting you in this like, like reclusive state. And I don't think this is a bad thing. 
Um, I do get this sense, Pisces, that this is not really like a time for you to like be necessarily collaborative. Um, such a, that's a weird way to put it. Um, just don't allow other people's views or perspective shift your perspective reviews. That's why I want to say Pisces. Um, with the Hermit card, this is more so just about being like, okay, like, it's okay, like, how would I put this, Pisces? It's, because I don't feel like anyone's trying to guide you necessarily astray or anything like that. I just feel like other people's thoughts, other people's involvement in some aspect of your life would just more so be more of an inconvenience for you rather than it being helpful, I guess is what I want to say. Just don't listen, don't allow anything to stop you from radiating this full energy, is what I want to say, Pisces. And then Eight of Pentacles in the Star card, um, because here's the thing, even if you messed up before in the past, even with that Six of Cups, and that's just like held you back in the past, right? Maybe you got, you fell off that horse, or you got into that car wreck however, however many years ago, right? And that's what stopped you from getting back into the driver's seat of your life. Um, now that you're getting back on it, Trust in yourself, trust in like the lessons that you've had or lessons that you've learned, uh, Pisces. Look at like what it is that you needed to refine, but don't have other people being like, uh, question you. Don't have other people get in your head, Pisces, because you're trying to go after your star. You're trying to go after something. And truly, the only way that you're going to make any ground on this star, the only way that you're going to reach up at this star, Pisces, is for you to start taking action, for you to start going forward towards it, right? Learn what you can. Learn what you can from those mistakes from the past, right? Six of Cups. But don't, don't allow that to, don't allow that Six of Cups, don't allow that past to stop you from your bag now. Learn what you can so you can continue going forward, Pisces. So, um... Yeah, those are the tarot cards that I have for you, Pisces, for this weekly general tarot reading for you. If you enjoyed this reading, be sure to let me know in the comments below, Pisces, and be sure to give this video a like and subscribe. And then also, Pisces, I do weekly general readings for all the zodiac signs, so if you have a friend that you think might be into my tarot messages, be sure to share my YouTube channel with them, and maybe they might be find some resonance in these cards as well. But until next time, Pisces, I love you so much.